Before I show you how to do this, it's always a good idea to wear some kind of gloves, preferably acid protective gloves and safety glasses. Now these six volt batteries here have three cells that are two volts each. Now a 12 volt battery will have six cells that are about two volts each, but instead of having removable caps like these uh, for each cell, they'll generally have a rectangular cap that has three fill holes here that covers three cells here, and then another rectangular cap here that covers three cells on this side as well. And you can remove the caps to get to the fill hole here to check the fluid level. It's best to have this battery completely charged before checking the fluid level or adding any fluid. But before you charge it, you wanna make sure that each of these portholes have enough fluid in them to be over top of the lead plates that are inside of this battery. As long as you have enough fluid to be covering the lead plates, then you can charge this. Now, if they don't have enough, but they're pretty close, you can just add some distilled water to whichever ones need to be filled up to that level and then charge this battery. After it's charged, you'll wanna check each one of these and then fill them up with distilled water enough to get to the bottom of each of these fill holes. Now these fill holes will generally have vent slots in them. The slots start at the bottom of where this plastic piece ends. You never want your fluid to go above the vent slots. So if you look down in here, you'll be able to see where the fill hole ends and the vent is at. You only wanna go up to where the vent slots begin. So watch carefully as you're refilling it because you don't want to overfill it. Now, since it is really tough to really gauge where the fluid is compared to where this uh, fill hole actually ends, sometimes you can kind of take something, uh, make sure it's clean first, and just kind of slide it down the plastic tab until I feel it give way. And then I know I'm at the bottom and I don't go any further and then pull it out and then see if the uh, tip is wet, which this is slightly. So we're pretty much right at the level that we should be. If it's not wet, I'm gonna fill it up to that level. We're just gonna put the caps firmly back on. Throw this back on the tractor. Clean up this little bit of water and we're good to go. When I'm done, I generally throw it on the battery tender just to make sure that it's topped off and ready to go. I try to leave most of my batteries on tenders as much as possible. 